All right, so let's go ahead and flatten an array. So first we will make our data array and this would be a flat array. Um, you can see it's one dimensional. There are no nested arrays. What happens when we want to flatten an array is we'll have something like this where we've got like an array within arrays and then maybe even if we want to get really crazy, then we could have an array inside of an array inside of another array. If we wanted to just print out like the full contents, um, every single item of each individual array one by one, then it would be something more like, let's call this flattened data or flat data. That's good. Um, and now this would be back to the original one that I had made. So um, let's just leave this as something that we're expecting as like a little test as a reference. Um, so now let's go ahead and write a function to flatten the array. And we will just take in that array argument. We'll want to declare this flat array, which we'll initialize as an empty array. And we'll do some stuff here and then we'll go ahead and we'll return the flat array. So we'll have that there and then here we will go ahead and call let's just call it new array and this is where we will pass in that data into the flatten uh, function. And then once we actually execute that then we can just pop out the new array. Let's just run this and see what will happen. It should uh, just return an empty array. So just like we expected. So now if we want to flatten this, we want to run through each element of array. So let's do a for each. And for each element, we want to check if it is an array. And if it is, we're going to call this function recursively. That way we can handle cases like this where it's kind of nested. And if it's not an array, then we will just pop it onto this flat array that we have. And we're going to use this array method array.isArray, and that'll be for element. And if it is, we'll want to say that flat array equals, and then we're going to use concat here and concat it with the flattened version of element. And so this is us cycling through, and the element is the current item at the index that we're cycling through. And then we want to make sure that's flattened just in case that it is an array. Um, and with concat, it's it's returning a new array. So it's not actually modifying this array, even though we're calling it on this flat array. So that's why we want to assign it to flat array. And then otherwise, we are just going to push onto this array. So we'll want to push element on here if it is not an array. So now when we run this, um, we should see this expected flat data uh, as the console log here. So we're passing in this data and we flatten it and then we should see this um, flattened array. Okay, so we've got an error here. Can't read property uh, for each. That's because I did something strange. Let's run this again. And now you can see the flattened data here. So if we were to step through this, then um, you could see actually what is happening each time. But it's cycling through uh, each element here. So it, this top array really has one, two, three, and four total elements. And this has two within it. And this has you know three within it. It's cycling through, flattening each. And then at the end, we get this flattened array.